Hello and welcome everybody in attendance. I, my name is Greg Huss. I'm one of the directors of admission and financial aid. Welcome to our webinar, Exercise in Sports Science at Carthage College. We've got a great program lined up for you today with lots of information. Uh, hope all of your families are doing well at this time and everybody's in good health. We'd love to have you on campus right now. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Southeast Wisconsin, but obviously that's not possible just yet. This summer, we do hope to have tours uh, come available again. So if you haven't been on campus already, we would love to show you around campus coming up and we will be starting individual tours in the next couple of weeks. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Uh, as we go through today, there is a question and answer button on the uh, Zoom call. You can just hover your mouse either over the, uh, or your arrow at the top of the screen or at the bottom of your screen and uh, you know, feel free to use the chat line or the question answer line. We'll make sure to answer those either throughout the presentation or at the end. We, we love questions, so we do encourage that. And uh, we'll be recording this today so that uh, people can enjoy this in the future as well. So first I'd like to introduce, um, I'm gonna go full screen here. So there, now everybody's a little bit bigger. But uh, first I'd like to introduce, we have three Great professors with us from the Exercise and Sports Science. We have Professor Johnson, Professor Allen, and Professor Pustina here. And they are going to tell all about their program. So I'm gonna turn it over to Professor Johnson and let her share her screen. All right, let me get my screen shared here. Okay, well, welcome. I know I speak for Dr. Allen and Dr. Pustina when I say I wish we could be meeting you in person uh, in our building and walking you around and, and showing you the facility that we have as well as just meeting you and your families um, to answer those questions. Uh, but you know, this is the next best thing that we can do right now. So we're happy to be here today and to share with you why we love getting up and going to work every day. I know when the three of us meet, it's something we talk about a lot, how lucky we are to be doing what we love and sharing about our passion for exercise, health, wellness, coaching, teaching with all of you. Um, and we're just looking forward to sharing a little bit today about the program itself, um, about each of us, and then answering any questions that we can from all of you. So I wanted to start with talking a little bit about a couple of our seniors. So we just graduated a class a couple weeks ago and these students tell a really great story about what the experience at Carthage can look like. Um, the student in the middle is Sammy. She's actually a local kid who went off to school somewhere else, transferred back to the area um, and really took every opportunity to explore different experiences in exercise and sports science. She took advantage of a grant that we have to help get students um, certified in personal training. And then she began working for uh, the fitness center and did personal training with students and faculty and staff, uh, as well as taking on internships at Marquette University in strength and conditioning. And um, now she's joining the first cohort in a master's program in sports management here at Carthage. And um, it, it's an interesting story about someone who knew that she loved exercise and sports science, but wasn't sure what direction that was. And she explored a lot of different opportunities and now she's on the path towards that sports management degree. And Laura, the student uh, on the left side of your screen, she uh, came in knew she wanted to major in exercise and sports science. And one uh, advisor that she had early on recommended an education class to her. And she ended up pursuing uh, physical education um, and health education. And now she's completing student teaching right now and she'll be certified to teach PE and health. Um, in her time, she worked for the department and provided a lot of valuable insight to us about the student experience and um, now is actually headed off with a uh, grad assistantship to a university out on the east coast so she's going to do some volleyball coaching and pursue a master's and ben is a student who came in with a very clear driven i want to be a physical therapist 
And so he took the exercise and sports science major. He added on a pre-health minor and was focused from really early on that that was the path he wanted to take. And now he's starting this summer a doctorate of physical therapy at, uh, at UW-Madison. So we wanted to tell this story because exercise and sports science is a big umbrella. There's a lot of different careers underneath that umbrella and um, an opportunity for you to come here and explore uh, what your path might be. So why exercise and sports science? Uh, the state of public health. Even outside of this pandemic, we have a country that is increasingly more sick. Um, the growing rates of diabetes and heart disease and the struggles of mental health. And so there is a huge need for professionals to be engaged with populations and helping people learn to live healthier lives and, and to be more active or uh, to train. Some of the careers that we listed here are what some of our graduates are out doing right now. Community health, group fitness, um, in the healthcare field, in exercise and um, recreation, teaching at all levels, strength and conditioning and coaching. So those are some of the areas that our graduates are out and working in right now. And the outlook for the field is good. In the Great Lakes area, there's the demand for professionals in this area. And um, that speaks well for our graduates to go out and to get jobs and begin doing what, you know, we all entered this to do, which is to help people. So some of the nuts and bolts, the requirements, uh, most Carthage majors are around 40 credits and they have a, a capstone project of some sort. So there's two options. If you're going the education route to become, to become licensed as a physical education or health education teacher, your capstone is a semester of student teaching and completing the ed TPA, which is a teacher performance assessment. Um, for the rest of that group that we mentioned, ones that are maybe going pre-health or into coaching, um, personal training, uh, community health, they have a semester where they do a 100 hour internship and then either do a research or a reflective assist that. The minors, it's really up to you. When, when you get here, you'll sit down with one of us, the three of us will be your advisors and we will talk to you about what it is that you wanna do or what you want to pursue. Or maybe you've had a couple experiences in some of your early on courses that you've found that path, then we might suggest some minors to you that make sense to help your career. So some people take on business administration because they want to own or run their own gym someday. Um, people interested in those teaching careers add on the secondary education or health education. Students that are looking to do physical therapy, occupational therapy, physician's assistants, they would add on that pre-health, um, but then there's many others like public relations, communication, those can tie well into sports information um, and sports administration. Some of the highlights about our program is the experiences that you can have. Um, we have a lot of on-campus opportunities for field experiences. Uh, our campus recreation, like uh, I explained about Sammy, can work in the fitness center. Um, there's other opportunities. We have majors each year that run the group fitness classes and get that experience. We have students who have interned in the athletic department and worked alongside the athletic director or the sports information director. Um, they've worked alongside the strength and conditioning coaches. And then off campus, and Dr. Pustina could probably speak more to this because he organizes the senior thesis and those uh, field experiences, but we have connections um, in the area to schools, to recreation and fitness centers, different strength and conditioning opportunities. Um, as far as healthcare, we've had people go out and be a PT aid. So a lot of um, interesting opportunities off campus as well. And research, which I know both Dr. Allen and Dr. Pustina are gonna talk a little bit more about, is an opportunity to present what you've studied. And we have an on-campus celebration of scholars, and then we have an undergraduate research program. And finally, the, the three of us represent such a diverse background and we're all gonna take a moment to tell you a little bit 
about our area of expertise and passion and what we're involved in. Um, but that's really one of the benefits is that we represent, and in addition, our, our adjunct and our limited term faculty that teach courses all bring uh, a great perspective and are connected out in the field to the industry and really help you get those hands-on experiences in your classes too. Okay, so I'll introduce Dr. Allen to you and she can share a little bit about herself and I think what makes I'm, Carthage great for you. I think I'm unmuted. Hello, everyone out there that's watching now and maybe in the future. I'm Cynthia Allen. I just finished my 16th year at Carthage and I, I say that because I like it. I like Carthage. I think you'll like it too. The people that choose to come to Carthage as faculty are people that really are interested in mentoring young people, not just about the class you have with them. Of course, we hope to be available for that, but also just to sit down and visit, like Rebecca was saying about, should you get a minor? You don't need a minor, but maybe you want a minor, or maybe you want to go do some research, or who knows what you want. We love to have you visit and, and talk with you about what your goals are and where you want to end up. Before I came to Carthage, I got my master's from Colorado State, and I worked as a health educator. I worked on a campus, college campus. And so I planned, this was pre-internet. I'm not that old, but it feels old. Pre-internet. And so we planned all kinds of activity for people, awareness campaigns like uh, Breast Cancer Awareness, World AIDS Day. Then I also planned workshops how to lose weight, how to quit smoking, things like that. And that really informed me going back to get my PhD, figure out how can we help people change to be healthier. And so that's my focus. My scholarship area is anything around quality of life, helping people, mental quality of life, physical quality of life, so on and so forth. And along the way, I've got certifications from a yoga instructor, Certified Personal Trainer, American College of Sports Medicine. So I can help you if you want to go in either of those kinds of directions. I teach the nutrition class. We have a lot of fun with that class, talking about how you can be healthy yourself. And if you end up wanting to train athletes, and athletes are not just people that bounce balls or chase balls around. We've got triathletes, ultra marathon. What about people that do boot camp? How might they want to eat? And then I just have a couple highlights here of some things that I've published. And this young person here worked with me on some research and now she's going off to a Big Ten University as well to get her master's degree. We went to Atlanta to, pub, uh, to present this. And both Re Rebecca, Tony and I are, are really focused on going to conferences and bringing you with us. We want you to get that experience. So there's lots of opportunities there. Back to you. Oh, you've got one more. Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> good. There's something at Carthage called the Celebration of Scholars. It's been, we've had it about 10 or 11 years now. So students work very closely with professor. You have to have a professor mentor and design a study, gather the data, and then present the present it at a conference on campus at the end of the year. And this, this young student, Taylor, wants to open her own yoga studio. She was teaching yoga, group fitness yoga classes. So she and I worked together to figure out uh, what effect yoga has. And she just did a very simple study, but quite interesting, and then presented it. So you have a class with me all of you, if you pick this major, where I teach you how to conduct research, how to analyze it, and how to present graphs and charts and whatnot. This is something that looks great on a resume, helps you dive deeper into whatever topic you're going into, even if you don't want to go to grad school. Um, Taylor doesn't want to go to grad school. Like I said, she wants to open her own business and she's just interested in learning more about yoga. All right. Well, hey, uh, I am Tony Pastina. Um, one of the EXS faculty here at Carthage and been doing it for the last four years and loving every minute of it. So uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown of my background and then move on. So uh, my, my schooling, my education, I stayed here in the state of Wisconsin for my undergraduate and my graduate work uh, at 
undergraduate I did at UW uh, Platteville and then lacrosse I did my graduate work uh, and for my graduate work I looked at more of the strength and conditioning uh, I was interested in working with athletes in that kind of background um, and then uh, eventually I went and got my my PhD at East Tennessee State University and uh, looked more at um, staying with sports but looking more at athlete monitoring and how to kind of manage uh, athlete an athlete's training in order to you know maximize performance so uh, but as far as experience though during that I've worked with I've coached at various levels I have a background in soccer so during my undergrad I played a little bit of soccer and uh, continued to that was really one of my passions continue to coach um, up until this last year <laughs> uh, starting to have some kids now so it's a little busy to get coaching in so um, but I definitely intend to once my kids get a little bit older to get back out on the field and start coaching coaching little ones as they run around so uh, but along with that I've, I've continued to do some strength and conditioning coaching there uh, this past spring we up until the the pandemic situation we uh, worked with uh, women's volleyball helping with their their off-season strength and conditioning uh, and we try to get some students involved too so I had three or four students that would come in and uh, help help do some of the coaching uh, in the weight room so a really good experience for for students that wanted to get their feet wet and just see if they at least see if they liked doing the strength and conditioning or being a coach so uh, I always try to give opportunities for students who are interested in, in those types of things if we can do it so uh, in addition we've we've also been working a little bit with uh, women's soccer as well uh, the coach is really interested in uh, our department and wants is, is seeking any kind of help he can get and uh, he just actually purchased some GPS units so these little uh, devices wearable technology that the players can wear during practices and games and and we can keep track of uh, how much work they've been doing throughout the season. So another really cool opportunity uh, that you can get in, get involved with uh, outside of, you know, the classroom. So, um, but those are some opportunities we try to do uh, as far as scholarship, I kind of talked about it, but my research is more in athlete monitoring, uh, you know, player tracking with GPS units, uh, strength training, which we'll look at a little bit with it in the next slide. Um, and then also just ways to maximize sport performance. So, and you can see my courses there, more of a kind of biomechanics, looking at how, uh, how we move and also how we can make some cues to help fix movements. We go a little bit into that. Uh, and then we, we have advanced principles of training and conditioning where students, they kind of learn more, some more biomechanics, but also uh, how to start to prescribe training uh, and, and they have to make an, an annual plan is one of the kind of main projects for that course. Uh, and then also I teach exercise physiology, uh, learning how the body responds to exercise, and then also senior thesis, which is the capstone project. So students will do an internship and then they have the option of doing a research project or kind of a seminar type situation and writing a paper on uh, some of the discussions that we've had in their seminars. So. Um, that's kind of some of my background. Also, the, the picture there, the big picture, I just want to point out a few people. So a lot of these students are, are from Carthage, some of them just this past year. So this was taken this past December. Um, a couple students, uh, the one on my left there, if you can see, I'm just right under the band, the, that like squat rack in the back. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the one to my, my left there uh, with the the nice handlebar mustache. <laughs> it's hard to see in the picture, but he's got quite the stash going on there. Uh, he is, he's going to be going to do his doctorate uh, starting next fall at West Virginia University. And then the person to his left, the taller guy, uh, he just got a job this past year at uh, University of Texas, San Antonio. So he's a strength and conditioning coach there. So just some cool kind of uh, within the Carthage community, there's people out there and connections that you can maybe make for future internship or something like that. Um, and some of these other students, the ones to my right are doing, are in graduate school, the two that are to my right, and then the two outside of that are, are current undergrads uh, that came down, uh, down to Tennessee for this. We attended a conference and you can see we kind of worked out a little bit. So uh, there's opportunities like that that we, we all, all those professors try to show you. 
you know, can take you out and see, see different aspects, different schools and, and different uh, professionals in the, uh, in the whole industry. So maybe one more slide and then, yeah. So here is, uh, uh, this is Ben Nolan. Last summer, uh, he got accepted to do a summer undergraduate research experience. And so throughout the summer, basically we collected uh, some data. And as far as our research project, we, we were interested in looking at the differences uh, in force output during different types of squats. And they were all, these were all different types of back squat kind of exercises. So we used like a, a different bar, a, a cambered bar it's called. Uh, and we compared that type of squat to a, a regular back squat. And uh, we were able to kind of get two, uh, two articles or publications out of it. Uh, and it was kind of a cool experience because we got to go travel a little bit and present uh, kind of like Dr. Allen, uh, we didn't go quite as far as Atlanta, but <laughs> uh, but we got yeah got the got an experience to go out and and see some other professionals in the uh, in the in the field and uh, and get to know another see another school and, and stuff like that. So it was really kind of a good experience for Ben. So I'm Rebecca. Uh, my background is in teaching, health, physical education, adapted PE, um, right out of. Uh, my undergraduate degree, I went uh, right into teaching around the Madison area, taught for a couple different school districts, taught all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade, um, taught a lot of middle school health, and taught adapted PE. And during that time, I also coached at those levels and just really, really enjoyed that educational experience. And I knew I always wanted to get to the point of teaching future PE and health teachers. So that's what I'm most excited to be doing right now. Um, one of the things that I uh, focus on for my scholarship is in the area of teacher effectiveness. So there is um, that assessment, the teacher performance assessment for um, future educators that they uh, plan these lessons and film them and write about them. And so I've done a lot of work around trying to support students in um, reaching that successfully so that they can be licensed and, and go out to teach. And I was just telling Dr. Allen and Dr. Pustina before the call that I, I just got in touch recently with the last couple of years of graduates. And it was so great to hear about where they are, what they're doing. Um, a lot of them are in Wisconsin or Illinois, kind of back near where they grew up for most of them. Some have, you know, made a move, but they're, they're out there teaching and coaching and doing the things that um, when they came in, I just remember having conversations with them about what would you like to do? Where do you see yourself after Carthage? And it was just great to hear that a lot of them are, are doing those things. Um, and it was a challenging year. You know, we talked when we caught up this spring about some of them, it was their first year of teaching and they went to remote learning for PE. <laughs> it's a really difficult uh, situation to be in, um, but it was so interesting just to hear how they adapted to those challenges, how they met the needs of the moment and found themselves um, being flexible and we had student teachers that were out this spring and completed about half of their student teaching and then went to virtual physical education. So it's, it's been an interesting year, but you know, there's no other teachers like physical education, health education teachers when it comes to being flexible and adapting to different changes. So I always tell them that, hey, you're gonna walk into a school, your school one morning, and there's gonna be assembly set up in the gym and you're gonna have to figure out what to do. And so we're just always talking about how we can take these challenges and learn from them and apply what we've learned in the future. Um, another thing, an opportunity that I have is to sit on the board of the Wisconsin Health and Physical Education. Um, group, organization, yeah, our state organization of teachers. And it's, it's such a great organization to be a part of. Um, they offer such a amazing service to teachers in the state. And it also helps me to connect with uh, teachers in those districts. They'll always ask me, do you know any um, Carthage graduates that'll be in this area that are looking for a job? Um, or 
like Tony and Cynthia mentioned, you know, we get a chance to take you with to these conventions. And so on the next slide, I'll show you a um, couple of the students that went to the WHPE convention with us this year. And some of the courses I teach, they're based around that background of physical education and health and coaching, and they're a lot of fun. I love to be teaching about movement, talking about the difference you can make as a teacher. And um, I find that the most rewarding in, in my day to day. And I just love the opportunity to help future teachers. So a couple pictures here, um, the one on the, the top, here. These are two students that went with last year to the WHPE convention and actually led a session. So as future teachers, they led a session for current teachers about how to do uh, fitness and how to assess at the same time. And it was a, a really great opportunity. So each year, um, anywhere from two to eight students come along with and present at that conference. Um, we also have an opportunity, and that's these two pictures down at the bottom, to teach homeschool physical education. So this was a program that started long before I came to Carthage, but I'm happy to be a part of it now. There's a local homeschool group in Kenosha and Racine who do a lot of activities together, and one of the activities they do is they come to Carthage for six weeks, and that's their only large group physical education classes that they have. So our juniors get a chance to lead and teach homeschool PE and um, it's just a, a fabulous on-campus experience for them. And the, the picture of Zoom in the corner is um, one of our students, Jovan, leading a flexibility and yoga lesson to second and third graders. So you can see a couple kids trying to do the movements there. Um, just a, a really great program and a great hands-on experience. And then there's other opportunities. The, the one pictured down here in the school gym is a local family fitness night. So we have a Carthage grad who teaches at this elementary school and he invites us out to volunteer at the event. Um, and that's just one of the great things about being small and having all of those connections. Um, People who are from Carthage and um, you know learn about something else, they they want to give back and they want to connect and help our students get an experience or mentor them. So why Carthage? Um, our our size um, and and what we mean by that is it feels close. We're small and we feel very close knit. Um, all the students that have been photoed in these pictures are juniors and seniors that. The three of us have watched grow from 18 year olds to 22 year olds and um, it's it's just amazing. We have small classes around 18 students in, in the classes in our major and you know your professors, your professors know you, they can tell when you're having a bad day. Um, the, the students get to know each other really well and become a little bit of a, a cohort themselves. Um, and it's, it's just a great one-on-one -on -one feeling. Like Dr. Allen was saying, students will just come by to talk. Hey, I, I was thinking about this opportunity. What do you think about that? Um, and you might be on my advising load and want to go talk to Tony about strength and conditioning. And um, all of the students are, are ones that we just, um, you know, we know very well and it's, it's hard every year. I, I feel like we get together and we're sad to see them go, but it's one of the greatest benefits I think we have here. Um, our campus as a whole has a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Each year there's an equity and inclusion um, certificate program that they open up for all faculty and staff to be a part of. Um, I know uh, Cynthia was a part of that in one of the first cohorts, I think, right? And then I did it this past year, and it's just an opportunity for us to learn more, you know, to have an open mind to how we can make our, our classes, our department, our college, a place that's more inclusive to, to everyone, and to do things that make the opportunities more equitable. And so that's something that our entire department, the exercise and sports science major and the athletic training major, um, we got together this year and did a, a team project in this area of let's survey students. Let's, let's see where they're at and where their challenges and their barriers are. And then we can think about how to help them. 
things. So we as a campus have this commitment, as individuals we have this commitment to continuing to learn and explore and think about how we can be more inclusive. Um, we talked a little bit about the local and regional opportunities. This is just a great place. There's a lot of um, opportunities to get field experiences in the Kenosha and Racine area and then right between Chicago and, and Milwaukee. And uh, we said earlier we have a lot of graduates out there. We have a lot of adjuncts that work out in the field um, and have connections. So there's just a lot of chances for you to explore what exercise and sports science means to you and what your path might be. And of course, Lake Michigan, right? It, it's so beautiful. There's a picture there. Uh, if you haven't been to campus yet, you should. It's really great. The one downside is a little windy and cold, right? You're on Lake Michigan, so it's beautiful. It can get a little chilly, so bundle up for that. Um, and then athletics. Uh, I would say for Carthage, and Greg could probably talk more to this in admissions, it's around a third, a quarter or a third of our students at Carthage are athletes. And then in our major, we have a lot of students who are able to pursue athletics and academics and do both very, very well. Those three students that we showed you on the first slide were all athletes. And um, so there's a way to have success and pursue a passion that you might have um, at the same time as uh, getting a great educational experience. That's all we have to present to you. We'd love to hear what questions you have for us and anything else we can talk about for the program. Yeah, thank you very much. That was fantastic. And you're, you're correct. Uh, with athletics, it is about a third of the uh, Carthage population is involved in varsity athletics. But even for those who are not involved in athletics, we have an outstanding intern or internship program, <laughs> intramural program. Uh, we have a great intramural program where a lot more students get involved in that too. We've got everything from beach volleyball, because yes, there are beach volleyball courts behind some of the residence halls right there on Lake Michigan. Uh, they do go inside for volleyball in the winter, but yeah, there's basketball and uh, there's something called trash kickball, and ultimate frisbee and all kinds of really <laughs> cool stuff. And I haven't seen the trash kickball yet. I don't know if any of you have, but I got to pick up on that one of these days. I hear good things about it. I just don't know exactly what it is. Um, but I would like to open it up to questions. You could ask your questions right there on the Q&A line, and uh, we would be happy to answer anything that's on your mind. Um, so feel free to type those in there. You can use the chat line as well. There was one question that came in uh, while you were talking about freshman year, when, when students come in as freshmen, is it, do you start in your major, if you know you want to be an exercise and sports science major, can you take classes towards your major right away freshman year, or do you have to wait till later on in, in your college career? Yeah, that's a great question. My, I just want to make sure I'm not muted. Um, yeah, the first course you would take is foundations of exercise and sports science. So generally, if you, if this is the major that you're interested in, you're usually signed up for that in the fall of your freshman year, but we offer it fall, J term and spring because we want to give, you know, everybody an opportunity to get started. And then that course serves as the prereq for all the other courses. So there's quite a few courses in the major then that open up. So by J term or spring of their freshman year, they could be taking courses in the major. That's fantastic. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's one of the things I really love about Carthage is that you can start there. Because I know so many universities fill students up with all general education courses freshman year, and they don't get to start on their major. Maybe they don't get to decide on their major, but um, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a big point. So thank you for asking and answering that question as well. Uh, any other questions that come in so far? Feel free to put them right up there. We'd be happy to answer them. Uh, maybe while people are thinking about it, I'll, I'll ask a question. As, uh, as professors here at Carthage, what is it that you love most about being a professor at Carthage? Anybody can start that one. <laughs> I guess I can go for it. <laughs> uh, I just like the interaction with students and, and seeing them grow over their four years here. It's, it's pretty cool to see where they go. And then even to see after they leave here to see all the places that they go and what they, what they do, kind of catch up, so. I'll go. Um, I... I like teaching and advising, you know, I think that um, teaching and, and sharing that passion and, and seeing students grow is, is really exciting um, day after day because you have those moments of that rewarding 
teaching career, right? And then what I like most about advising is those one-on-one conversations, really getting to know students um, and beyond just, hey, these are the courses you need to take next, but what are you interested in? Um, what, where do you see yourself? How can we get you there? Um, what are you struggling with? I know that a lot of the advising we do is in, in the middle of a semester when something's going on and they're not sure how to deal with a certain situation. And so I like that our students feel comfortable enough with us to, um, to come to us and, and have them, you know, have us guide them through different issues. For sure. Um, Cynthia, anything you want to add to it before? It is a beautiful campus. <laughs> I came to interview when I was looking for jobs in April and the, the facilities crew does a great job, beautiful flowers and the view of the lake is unparalleled. It, it's gorgeous. I love that. And I just like that students can get involved, not just sports, but they'll be in a band or I find out they're in the choir or doing a musical or there, a lot of our students belong to sororities and fraternities and seem to have activities to go to. You can, you can find your way at Carthage into multiple events, uh, groups, I think. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Uh, student life is strong at Carthage and there's over 130 student organizations and clubs that students get involved in and many of them get involved in multiple clubs, just like you, you said there. So. It's part of the college experience and 70% uh, of our students do live on the campus. So we are a fully residential campus and it is the, the complete experience there. Do any of you, you know, you, you mentioned earlier about conferences uh, and things that you do outside of the classroom. Just from the top of your head, do you have a favorite conference that, that you've had in the past or one that you look forward to every year? Yeah, I'll go first. The, uh, let's see, sure. Boy, I can't think of the name of the, the conference, but Carthage is a fa uh, institutional member, and uh, I've had the opportunity to go as a faculty advisor, and then it got canceled this year. We we're going to go to Montana, mm -hmm. but students from all across campus, uh, one year there were 12, and one next year there were 9 or 10, so people from psychology, our major, they all go to the undergraduate uh, research conference and I, the students I've taken with me, they, they're excited about their own research, but then they go and they meet other faculty members, they meet other students. They just get so excited about what's going on and it's a great way to meet people, get, a, get some interviews for jobs, something like that. NCUR, National College Undergraduate Research. Finally, I got finally I remembered it. Yeah. That one's a lot of fun. Yeah, I I was scheduled to go to the, the SHAPE convention. So it's the Society of Health and Physical Educators. Um, and it's a national organization. So every year it's someplace great. It was in Nashville two years ago. This year was Salt Lake City. And uh, you know, this this year it was it was canceled, but it's always amazing. It, it's amazing to connect with other faculty members um, and talk about what they're doing at their schools and um, to share ideas. Presenting is great, but attending is way better, you know, yeah. going and learning from everybody else and um, connecting with folks that maybe you've only emailed with before. So that's a conference I'm usually really excited about and um, we'll see what happens for next year. Uh, yeah, I'm always interested in uh, uh, the National Strength and Conditioning Association. They have a conference that kind of circulates around the country every year. And uh, also the Coaches College, which is always in Tennessee, where, where I usually always make that trip every year. So unless I got a baby on the way or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Lots of babies. But anyway, I just want to mention one other thing. Uh, this is kind of random, but one advantage of our program, too, is is that we're in the the same building we share a building with athletics so if you're interested in sport or even uh, the health and wellness side personal training all that stuff is housed in one building which is, it's kind of nice to have a one-stop shop and you you'll run into you know athletes or run into people that are coming in to work out so it's, it's really i think that's a huge advantage of our department just to be in uh, in the building where all the all that kind of recreation and uh, sports are going on so uh, that's a good point. It is a fantastic building. Uh, yeah. For those of you attending, if you haven't seen our campus yet, 
just in the in recent years, we've spent over two hundred and fifty million dollars on capital improvements, and that includes all the athletic facilities and uh, the science building and business facilities and residence halls, student union. Everything is very updated on this campus. And um, like somebody said earlier, the, the views of Lake Michigan never get old either. We, we yes. love those, so those are always good. Even in the winter, it's still beautiful. <laughs> it is, it is, and it looks different every single day out there. There's always something different. So, well, if there's no other questions, um, I'll kind of you know you know end with um, you know you know we we hope that everybody will be able to come out and and see the campus soon. We are talking about opening up for individual tours coming up here towards the end of June. So kind of keep an eye on our website for that. We, you know, the pictures are great, but it, it doesn't do the, the campus justice. We'd, we'd love to have you right there and see it in person. Hopefully you got a good view today into, you know, the, the, the way that we, we teach, the way that you would learn at Carthage. We do believe in experiential learning. It's very hands-on and obviously your professors, uh, they're very passionate about their subjects and their students and you're going to know your professors by name and they're going to know you by name. That's a huge advantage for our students because really, if you think about it, every student has a different definition of success. And that's why it's so important that our students do get to know their professors versus a lot of other universities where they don't know professors. Uh, but here at Carthage, uh, professors open up doors for our students every day and they like to know where you're going afterwards as well. So you'll hear the students on campus a lot of times use the word family and Carthage does kind of become like a family. Uh, additionally, we have a, a big advantage too because uh, not only the location for things like, I think Rebecca mentioned earlier, the, between Chicago and Milwaukee, there's so many opportunities, Kenosha Racine, but also we've got this program called the Aspire Program, which we're very excited about. It's getting national attention. It's our career development program. And instead of waiting until students are juniors and seniors to start career development, this program starts freshman year for every freshman at Carthage. So it's, it's four years of career development. They're not gonna be in your face, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be a lot of extra work, but there's no, no surprises senior year. Uh, so uh, I know a lot of university seniors go into the career center and say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna graduate. Maybe I should go visit the career center, help me find a job. And here it's more of a process and you got uh, the Aspire Center and professors working with you on that along the way. Uh, if you guys uh, in attendance are juniors and you're thinking about applying to Carthage, and I hope we, you will, our applications have opened up now on our website. So you can go onto the website, click on, on the button that says apply now. It's on about every screen there, so it's very easy. Uh, the application will take you about 30 minutes and then you send us your, your um, uh, transcript from your high school and your ACT or SAT score. I will say if you're a junior and you didn't get to take the ACT or SAT this year because of the, uh, the, the world pandemic. Don't sweat it too much. Just let us know that we are evaluating everything a little bit differently this year uh, because of that. So our goal is student success. And we wanna help you, you know, succeed with where you wanna go with your college experience. So with that, uh, if there's no other questions, I'll close and say thank you very much to everybody for coming. Thank you to our professors for the fantastic presentation. And we hope you come visit soon. Stay safe everybody and thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, all. -bye.